Although PowerShell is not a programming language as such, it's a scripting language, it does have the try and catch error concept, but you need to understand a few things, especially around error action preference. So let's explain this. So here, as you can see, within the try block, I am trying to get an item, which is a non-existing file. And here, I've got the catch block to capture the error. The dollar sign underscore is the automatic variable that PowerShell creates for you, which contains the error object. But if I were to run this code, the error handling catch block will not work. So if I run this here, and do a run selection and as you can see my error handler didn't work it didn't print out this message instead we got a standard message the reason is to do with error actions in powershell you can decide what should happen when an error happens the normal preference of powershell is to continue so basically it will execute this line so it will never actually execute the catch block so you have something called error action preference which has options such as continue it has options such as stop so this will stop the execution and make it trigger the catch block or you could silently continue which is suppress the error message inquire basically ask the user what to do and ignore completely ignore the error no error messages are printed we want it to actually stop execution so what you can do is you have two options of doing it one which is you can set it globally for all your code here using the dollar sign error action preference or you can set it next to the line where you want the error to be captured so we could do it here if i highlight this and run selection and as you can see we've got our error message printed but if i take that off again and run this again and you can see we are back to our standard powershell error but you can actually change this global variable error action preference which is provided by PowerShell. And now if I run this, so if this line is commented out, I run selection again, you can see our error message is printed. So this is how you capture errors in try catch. Just remember by default, most errors in PowerShell have the continue option. So here you can see the continue option. So here continue option is the default. It will display the error message and continue executing the script. Or you can get it to stop, which means your catch close here would be triggered. So yes, PowerShell does have the modern try catch, but you need to be aware that you need to use error action preference or error action parameter here to decide what should happen if an error occurs.